Listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. hey, hey, listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me guys. Remember to smash the notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. Okay guys, as you see, it is raining. I mean, it's just doing some raining out here. And I'm down here at Bass City. I wanted to come and do a challenge and if it quits raining I'm gonna go ahead and, and do it um, if you're uh, if you're not new to my channel uh, you saw this a while back and there is a crankbait that goes in the empty spot right there in this particular uh, lure pack this is the multi uh, cream hard bait kit multi and it's like four of them but um <clears throat> you saw me throw this the crankbait that goes right there you if you're not new to my channel now you've seen me throw the crankbait uh, on a commercial that I put on Facebook and I was catching fish uh, or I caught a fish on that commercial and then uh, I did the, the um, cream hard bait challenge I caught fish on every one of them and that particular lure that that goes right here was actually in that other pack as well so I mean I don't think it'd be much of a challenge if I put that lure in there because I already know I already know it's catching fish these though I've never thrown these guys I've never thrown any one of these lures ever you know I don't I ain't never caught a fish on them and I think it'd be a good challenge to finish it but Instead of uh, throwing something I know is gonna work, uh, I'm gonna throw something else that I've never used. This is the uh, this is the Rebel uh, CBA. It's the it's called the Deep. I'll take it. It's a deep diver. The Deep Rebel CBA, and uh, it's a little small micro crankbait or mini crankbait, whatever you know. But it's small, so I think I'm gonna throw this in the place of that one if it's okay with you guys you know um i mean i, mean, I want to see if it works too and it does have a that shad killer scheme uh, like an archie crappy crankbait does i mean it's a lot of lures that they all have the same kind of paint job but i had this lure man for i've had it a year i've had it over a year never threw it one time and you it's being tough because it's been in my tackle box but this that pack's not open guys look it's not open see look at that it's not open I've never thrown it but um it's supposed to slack up raining according to the weather and if it does I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna throw throw these lures uh, for a little uh, for a little mini uh, lure challenge so um Let's see if it's gonna quit raining. We're gonna get out here and see if we can catch a fish on each one of these uh, five lures. All right, guys. See you out there in that water. Okay, guys. What's going on? Okay, guys. The first thing I'm gonna throw, if I can get it untangled, is gonna be this deep diving BA by Rebel. Let's see if we can get a fish. Now, I'm not standing out here by myself. Guys, check this out. This is my homie, Big John. Big John, holler at the people, man. What's up? Hello, world. Big dog, what you say your name was? Zach, man. Zach, what's up, man? All right, all right. Yeah. Now, these guys been out here. Now, they were here before I was. Y'all saw me in the car. It was raining. <laughs> I had to get back. They've been out here fishing, and they got some fish. They got some nice cats over there on the stringer. So, they, they're a little tougher than me. I couldn't afford to let my electronics get damaged, guys. You know. 
Yeah. yeah. Water's running a little funny today. Where all the water's coming from? It had a lot of rain. Uh, hunt, trap, and fish was just here, and uh, he said there weren't many shad out here. So that's gonna make the challenge even harder. No, it wouldn't hurt if a skipjack would hit. Well, we can see the catfish are biting. Maybe the bass and the drums or whatever do a little something too. <laughs> Break them up, Tim. Man, I'm going to try. No, you good, you good, you good, you good. I'm, I'm fine, right where I'm at, thank you. I just want to make sure I didn't cross your line. See if we can get a little bluegill or something to hit. Skipjack, I'll be doggone. Oh, got him! Oh, got him! <laughs> little bass. Little largemouth, guys, check that out. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me, guys. Remember to smash the notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. I took a, he knocked fire from and I snatched him out of the water, but we got him. Okay, well, I guess that Rebel uh, Deep Dive BA works. First fish of the day. Let's get him back in the water, guys. Thanks, man. One lure down. Man, what you got on there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know to feed the family. <laughs> that pulling, ain't it? <laughs> Boy, I love it. Yeah. I didn't want to come up, is it? Probably older than Tim, guy. <laughs> I'm pretty old. <laughs> oh, it's just a nice little channel cat, ain't it, man? All right, all right. A nice fight. There he is. Yeah, nice channel, man. Nice channel. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Y'all something serious. Off a fish head. Off a fish and shed head? Knock fire from it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the hook. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to throw uh, the next lure on the list. This is that, uh, that cream hard bait, fire tiger looking crankbait. And I do have a split shot on it. For castability and uh, to make it sink some, I want to run into the water. Man, it's raining. Well, guys, I hope I can finish this challenge today. If it rains too much, I ain't gonna be able to do it. But I'm gonna try. Oh, I lost him, guys. It looked like a drum. Dang, he hit it right, though. Okay, Cream, you guys make some good baits. Let's see if we can drag one on in here. I saw that joker. Got him, guys. Aw, oh, man, come on. Look at these hooks, guys. And that was not shad I was bumping into. Look, hooks look okay. And that was like a drum that I lost. I saw it. See what we can come up with. Oh, got him, guys. It's nice. Ah, man, come on, dude. Okay, I tell you what. My drag is set. Guys, I'm gonna say one thing. I don't like these hooks, man. I don't like them. <laughs> if I keep this lure, I may change the hooks. Y'all see that, man? Right. <laughs> 
That was nice, whatever it was. <laughs> Man, come on, dude. <laughs> Oh, got something. Trying to land him. Come on. Oh! Launch my pizza! Oh! <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Guys, look at this. Uh, I appreciate you, dog. <laughs> Had to wrestle with him. Fish number two of the day. <laughs> There's another lure down. Look at this nice large mouth, guys. Look at that. It's nice. I no, appreciate you 100. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, let's get it back in the water. <laughs> you talking about it was hard to catch that fish. Okay, guys, let's go to another lure. That's two lures down, and I caught a tree. Does that count? Okay. Guess not. Okay, guys, two lures down in the rain after work. Okay, guys, this is the, the, the second. Uh, jerk bait on there. This is a, a silver shad uh, color scheme. It's got the black black back with the red eyes and the silver shad body. And it's a it's a jerk bait. And I did put a little split shot on it to get it under the water. I'm pretty sure, guys. You know, everybody knows that fishes a little bit certain times of the year works better for certain baits, lures, whichever one you want to call it. And uh, now right now this cream hard bait multi-set is working good. I'm not going to say it works in the wintertime good because I, I fish with uh, lures, crankbaits, and didn't do any good in the wintertime. But it's, it's working really good now. Okay, it's got, it's got a good swimming action. Let's get it out here. I almost lost that fish, didn't I, guys? <laughs> Let that sink a little bit. Let's see if we can get lure number three to work. Guys, we got him. Got him, guys. Well, don't lose him. Oh, white bass. What? Right off the bat. Look at that, guys. Got that white bass. Boy, the cream company is getting down, baby. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna have to watch this cat. These are gonna cut you. Okay, got him. Uh, John, can I borrow y'all's pliers? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I forgot mine in the car. And uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Stop the BS. Man, I really forgot my pliers because I thought about what you said. <laughs> okay, he's hooked crazy. See? He's hooked crazy. He really hit that bait. Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Nice little white bass. He's okay. Let's get him back in the water. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Three lures down. I'm going to put you guys' flyers back over here, okay? Thank y'all. Man, right off the bat. What's up? Let's get back in that water, guys. Yeah, man, time you walked over there, you caught on, that. Baby. John, you got another one? Hey. He got all... He on there? Oh, he wasn't getting off. He wasn't getting off. Yeah, he wasn't getting off. Oh, man. <laughs> he was, uh-oh, uh-oh. Man, y'all taking them catfish up, man. Them channel cats, baby, what's up? That's all right. That pole right there getting hit, too. That multicolored pole. Got a nice camera. Look at that guy. I'm gonna show y'all's fish. Is that all right? Yeah. Look at that, man. Y'all, man, y'all going off, man. Nothing but props. Look at that, guys. 
Yes, Lord. The true cat fisherman. What? Yes, Lord. Okay guys, I'm gonna throw this little, man, this is a little micro mini shad looking uh, cream yeah. crankbait with one hook. <laughs> I put two, I took two, put two split shots on it so I can throw it out there. Man, I hope it works. I may have to take one of the split shots off, I don't know. Let me take one of them off guys. I'm just gonna leave them on there because it didn't want to come off. That's all right, man. You guys doing some fishing. Let's see what happens, guys. These are some small micro lures. Oh, man, it's got a good swimming action. Let me raise these weights up a little bit. Oh man, now you're coming out with a, a largemouth bass. <laughs> That's all right. Look at that, guys. Coming out with a largemouth bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on today. That's a nice bass, dog. Yeah, nice largemouth. Look at her. What'd you catch that on? Okay, okay. You just hit it, not far from it. All right. Yeah, nice large mouth. All right, all right. They're talking, ain't they? Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Nice catch, nice catch. Rainy day. <laughs> Mississippi be producing some catfish. What? But guys, this is actually turning out to be an okay day. Oh, they, those other uh, little bitty baits, they just couldn't see them. I mean, it's pretty obvious or something. But this is the Cotton Cordell Grappler Shad Craw. It's got the green belly with the crawfish uh, scheme, with the uh, black crawfish scheme, with the orange, I guess, peach. Peach, peach and black top with some big eyes. And it's a deep diver, hope I don't get hung, but I have used the other one that was a regular grappler shad, Fancy, and caught a lot of fish. That grappler shad, Fancy, was rough. Let's see what happens. I've, I've thrown this in a pond before, and I didn't do any good in it, and I threw it in the lake, and I didn't do any good, and that was, it was cold then. I thought that's when the, the crawfish color is supposed to be popping. I'm going to fish it and see what happens. Cotton Cordell makes a really good uh, swim, swimming crankbaits. Man, I love crankbaits. But I'm thinking it's going to be the smaller crankbaits, what the deal is going to be. I think that's going to be the bottom. Careful not to try not to get hung. Oh, got him! I saw him when he came up and got it. He hit that crop, uh, that cotton cordell uh, crawfish. Grapple of shad. <laughs> Grapple of shad craw and it got me hung. Look at that. Okay. Uh, let me get the bass. Hold on. Large, nice large mouth. Look at that guy. Ow. No. Yeah. Ooh, that's the second one I dropped today. Look at that. Nice large mouth, guys. I saw him when he came up and hit it. Wow. That Cotton Cordell uh, Grappler Craw, uh, Shad Grappler Shad Craw. My bad. Works good. <laughs> it worked good today. I've never caught a fish on that, but it worked. I don't want to throw them on the rocks. Get him back in the water, guys. Thanks, man. Yeah, it worked super good. <laughs> he came up and hit it. I saw him. Bang. Well, I guess we know that's working. Okay, guys. This is one of 
one of those eight, eight segmented swim baits and they're all over well they're all over my facebook i guess because I, I i fish a lot and i put fishing pictures on there and i like a lot of pictures and uh these lures man they actually look like a fish in the water i mean they're a popping okay so i'm gonna throw it out I, it kind of looks like a shad i'm gonna say it's sort of a shad type color scheme it's got a red tail on it i'm gonna throw it out here and i've never really tried it and the fish are biting and it's a big lure now it doesn't dive real deep but it's got a great swimming action let's see if we can get something on it i've never threw it out here and really got down i have another one i want to try too it's got a different color scheme uh it's almost the same these are some different kind of lures i mean they got a really good swimming action guys super good swimming action i will throw it out here in the deep water. And I'm going to show you where I, who I saw using this lure at the end of this episode uh, when I get back to the crib. Okay, got hit. We got him! God dang! Okay. Okay. We got a big one. I had to tighten the drag up on him a little bit. Yeah, this lure works. God dang, what is that? If I can land it, oh my god, I don't want to lose. Oh my god, it's a spotted bass. Oh, he jumped off! Dang it, it was a huge spotted bass. Guys, oh man, well it worked. A huge spotted bass, man, it was huge. Had to be five pounds, what? I'll check this in a minute. Man, my heart is beating. A huge spotted bass hit it. Wow! Okay, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me, guys. Remember to smash the notification bell and put it in the alarm position so you can get all my content when it comes out. First off, guys, I want to give a shout out to my, my big homie, Big John, man, and his homeboy. Man, I really enjoyed uh, fishing with you guys, man. Uh, I've been knowing Big John for some years, man, and he put me on to some, uh, some good stuff down there at Bass City, the shad hole, when I first was coming down, you know, some years ago, and uh, catching some fish. Um, guys, the cream hard bait challenge with the, with the Rebel um, CBA that I had to replace. Um, guys, um, I'm gonna say something about this CBA first. This is a really good lure. Uh, it's it's got that Tennessee shad color scheme, uh, and this lure worked really good. I mean, you guys saw it in action, you know. And it was raining, and it was on. Um, this is the this is that fire tiger one that came out of the cream hard bait kit. Uh, it did really well with the black top. Black tiger stripes, green side, red eyes, and yellow tummy. Um, it, it, it did really well. And this is that uh, silver jerk bait. And uh, it did it did really well. But uh, the little bitty tinny tiny uh crankbaits you know they rattle like the other one they rattle but the fish i don't think they could see these guys or and or they just didn't make enough sound <clears throat> excuse me that's a lot of water out there it's not like it's a steel pond or a steel lake and i'm going to take these and throw them in a lake or in a pond rather probably a pond and see if i can catch anything uh they I'm not saying the lures don't work. Uh, now that particular challenge, this particular challenge, I couldn't complete it because those lures just, just wouldn't work. So, you know, there they go. Those two didn't work. There was nothing I could do about that. So I'll take those two lures somewhere else 
and see if, if, it's, if there's a difference like in a pond as I was saying okay um this thing I want to talk about guys uh, I do have a big bait challenge coming and uh, I was just giving you like a little preview uh, of what I'm some of the stuff I'm gonna be throwing I got some big lures that I bought that I'm gonna be throwing in that particular series and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish man some 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 nice fish and we'll see what happens uh, when, when we get there um guys as you see it was raining that day um when the water cools off and it's hot like now that rain's gonna cool that water off when that water co cools off it's gonna bring those fish into the bank to feed and I'm pretty sure that works pretty much everywhere from what I'm seeing um matter of fact I got to stop hold on um hunt fish and trap man I want to give a shout out to you man uh this was the first time that I had talked to him man in probably two or three months man he was uh when I was parked sitting in my car and it was raining uh he was he was uh coming from down at our uh, bad city and he had uh he had caught a few shad um a few gizzard shad and we stood there and talked uh after after the rain had settled down when I was getting ready to go down and uh, man I was glad to see you man I'm giving a shout out to you man I appreciate y'all your support man thank you man for helping me out big dog love talking to you uh, on, on my comments and stuff all right big dog there it is um but as I was saying guys all the all that that rain is coming in and then you be like man it's raining hanging you be mad <clears throat> if you can get get to wherever you fish at right after that rain slacks off enough to where you can fish if you are if you're not in a boat and like you're on a bank or something like i be lots of times the uh the fish are gonna come in man and, and try to find something to eat they're gonna try to catch frogs whatever it is that they're eating you know bait fish whatever because that that rain water is going to cool that water off and it, it will draw them in um the next thing i want to say guys <clears throat> that particular lure that i was using uh that uh, six segmented um swim bait is what it is uh i had that bait and you know i've got the bait but i did not use that bait until I saw it on First State Fishing. Now, First State Fishing, uh, he, he, his channel is straight, man. I, I watch him all the time. And um, he had put that in a uh, lure challenge, an Amazon lure challenge that he was doing. And I looked at him like, man, I got that bait. You know, so uh, he, he caught a fish on it. He caught, a, he caught a, I think it was a nice bass on it. But, um, I said, well, let me, I'm going to get it out and, and see what's up. And there it was, you know, uh, you guys couldn't see it because I didn't have my GoPro on. I apologize, guys. It was dead. I didn't have my, my extra batteries like I have now. You know, I only had one battery and I, and I honest to God, I just forgot to charge it. And uh, when that spotted bass hit that lure, man, he, he was cutting up. I didn't know what it was. And when I finally got him up enough to where I could see him, it was a it was a nice spot of bass, man. It was five, six, seven pounds at the most. I'm not gonna try to say it was a giant, but it was it was right in that range. That fish was was that thick in real life. And you guys didn't get to see it. I hate that. I prefer for you guys just to see things, because when you can't see it, it's a fish story, but you saw how it was put. But uh the fish wound up jumping and throwing the hook. There it is. But that's a good preview, you know, of what's uh, what's coming up, guys, on my big bait challenges. Um, everybody that subscribed to my channel, man, I appreciate you guys 100, man. Okay, guys, if you're just watching my channel, you know, uh, and you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead on and, and grab that subscribe button for me, man. You know, and come in and uh, give me some comments, man. You know, uh, I like to talk to you guys. You know, I like to uh, to interact with you guys. And, and, and it feels a lot better you know uh, if, if you don't have uh, fans guys and I've said this before if you're not new to my channel if you ain't got some kind of fans you don't have people watching you 
oh YouTube, man, you ain't doing nothing. It's all about you guys. You know what I'm saying? So you know, come on in, man, and hit that subscribe button for me. Put that alarm position, man, and you know, and, and give me some feedback, guys. Okay, guys, keep on going fishing. Have fun. Be safe. Peace out. Thanks for watching.